what is up YouTube it's been a crazy day didn't know if I was gonna film or not but you know here we are it's 448 it is you know it's been just absolutely crazy I'm trying my best to fire up the Zephyr to have a cool video and it's just not working out um, may or may not have made a mistake I don't know exactly but didn't put a block plate in between the transmission and the bell housing and I have broken now two starters and I'm on the third starter these are the SN95 mini starter that everybody uses Shannon Young with bloodbath uh, I, I mean just just all kinds you know I, I use him as, him as an example because you know it's like crazy fast car and he's running the same starter um, a bunch of friends have used them with the power glide it's just been and I've bought three different ones now and all three of them have a different length snout on them same part numbers well the first one wasn't the second two same part numbers and they look different but anyways so I, I, I went on the old interwebs on Facebook and said hey guys does anybody by chance have a small block for dust plate or the dust plate block plate dust shield whatever you want to call it my friend Bobby says yep let me walk out to my garage and make sure I have one he has a 164 tooth block plate I just picked it up from him this is the second time of me going home today because I the, this morning I went to uh, to Perry's Harvey's Auto in Princeton and they uh, they got me another starter I bought the lifetime warranty starter so um, you know if it breaks or any of that stuff it's it's covered so it's sort of awesome big shout out to Perry he always hooks me up um, always and so I'm on the third starter uh, the poor thing is just I, I, I can't I, it's not engaging properly so I haven't been able to get any good revolutions of the motor and um, you know when I did it was at an angle weird angle because I didn't realize that the snout was broken and so I really haven't been able to get a good uh, a, a good crank on the motor pretty much so I, I got a little bit there earlier on this last starter and thought we were good and you know it's making all kinds of rackets so I knew it wasn't gonna be long and I've had a big pop through the exhaust so we're getting some fire we're getting getting some fuel getting some spark so we're there I just I feel like if if I could get some um, if I can get some good cranks on the motor and get it turning a little bit I can get it fired up and then we can see what the timing is and and just get it all lined out and, and running but uh, I always have problems with the old my old coupe that I used to have I had problems out of it start out of its starter with a block plate and everything uh, constantly had the uh, bolts trying to back out on me I had to put I put lock washers and I ended up buying extra long bolts and putting um, the Teflon bolts I forget what they exactly are called the lock you know lock nuts on the other side Teflon nuts um, on the other side so that they wouldn't back out just always had problems with it and um, so now oh I have problems with this one but I didn't have a block plate so I've got to I'm gonna cut this block plate in half slide it up around everything after I've got to I've got to take the bolts back out of the transmission you know I've got to prop it up a little bit or have something underneath it try and pry it out just enough that I can slide those two pieces of the block plate back up in there reinstall the transmission put the uh, starter in and just pray so just pray that it will be right I don't know it should be I don't see why it wouldn't but I don't know I'm having a hard time if this doesn't work on Monday or sometime next week I'll be ordering the power master starter so hopefully I can use this uh, this clip and it'll be all hunky-dory here later 
when we fire this thing up and uh, that, that's what I hope oh boy it's been fun it's been crazy thankfully kerosene heater has got the shop nice and warm I thought that we are out of this but as you can see we got like four inches of snow last night um, and it's actually starting to melt off pretty good so yeah it's uh man there's been one of them days everything is fighting me with this effort and it is just i don't know is it cursed you know hard to tell i mean it's it's uh, i'm so close it was actually on the right firing order i was waiting on a cord for the longest time uh, for a couple days i waited on a cord to connect the laptop to the msd and the msd seems to be working fine it connected i was able to see that it was on small block four firing order which was nice and uh, everything i don't i don't know if there's any specific um, tune that i need to put into it um, i may i may hit up rob and see if he may have something or if anybody has any type of startup tune the only thing is it's just timing so it's not doesn't really have to do with much else so i don't know we'll see i'm hoping that i can get it fired up this evening and uh hopefully i will be showing you guys that and um hopefully i don't break another starter and i don't lose my mind in the process of doing all this so all right we'll see you in a few all right so it is the next day uh some unfortunate news that we have had happen i am millimeters centimeters one of those meters away from getting this thing started and i mean literally like this close and then found out uh i had some misinformation and what i thought was 164 tooth bell housing is actually 157 tooth and so all the work that i did yesterday was for nothing i now have a new flex plate on the way and a new block plate brand new all new stuff which means i have to pull the transmission out pull the flex plate off of the flywheel so it has been uh yeah i was pretty frustrated last night whenever i found all that information out it is uh yeah it's unfortunate i thought i would be bringing you guys a startup video and instead i am bringing you a we're three steps back again so like transmission lines that i had nice and and braced up and things that i ran the uh, uh what's the stuff the shifter cable linkage uh, all that stuff has to come out drive shaft has to come out so now yay we are we are to a point that uh we're so close i mean so close i mean i could technically drill out the holes in the bell housing and tap them but yeah that's not gonna happen no way i'm not doing all that and that's a very stress related part um it's got a lot of of force on it so i'm not gonna i don't want to weaken that at all so easiest thing is to just step back relax order the right parts transmissions already unbolted from the from the motor so all i've got to do is uh pull the drive shaft and let's see pull the drive shaft and then i gotta drop the transmission down and back out of the way just enough to where i can get in there to service that uh the flex plate so just hoping that it doesn't take me too long today um it is beautiful today thankfully 50 some degrees with a breeze so it's a little chilly um i mean it's it's warm enough i don't know if you can see back here it's warm enough that it's made the uh the coolant in the radiator expand or yeah something like that and so i got a nice little puddle going on underneath it because i had it filled up pretty good so i gotta get a catch can for it or uh whatever you want to call it spillover can i don't know what it's called coolant reservoir that's probably the literal name so 
that's the plan is today real quick drop that transmission down um i gotta get a jack underneath of it which uh just to just to hold it up i don't know it's just no fun all by myself doing it so you know it'll probably a couple of busted knuckles and we'll be good to go but uh it does suck i thought that i would be starting this thing up and you know working on the tune i mean i haven't even touched the carburetor I haven't even gotten to hear it fire yet so yeah it's a little annoying um a little depressing but i mean you know i signed up for this so it is what it is i'm in there too i'm in a minute too far now too far gone now so yep we're gonna get to it or i am gonna get to it and pull this transmission out and um roll around on my back for a while on the cold concrete um because i am determined to i am not pushing this thing back up on another trailer it's just it's too it's just annoying i can't do it it sucks um having to use the, the come along and pull it up on the trailer and it's just it's nasty i mean my truck right now is just disgusting from the salt and stuff because it decided to snow um yesterday morning and the the night before yesterday so it's so close i've got so many people who are just like get it done you know you can do it and i i can it's just gonna take me a minute so that's it that's we're gonna we're gonna get to it here hopefully i'll be back with you here in a little bit and we'll talk about some things that are going on on the channel but uh for now i'm gonna jump under here and do some work um yeah let's get to it all right so drive shafts out all i gotta do is take the uh flex plate bolts converter bolts out and i'll be able to drop the trans but just because it is killing my back like i don't know if it's the grit i don't know what it is is killing my back i need some stress relief so let's go see i've the poor battery on whitey is just it's you know it's it's getting what is it almost six years old now and it's uh not wanting to hold charge very well because i don't drive it enough that's part of it so uh it's a little bit of stress relief let's start it up and uh see see what we can do i had the battery charger on it for a second now so let's see what we got head 
there it looked to be a small drip of anif uh, of coolant coming i guess from the head gasket which i don't see how that's possible um i don't know got to do some more investigating on that so i guess we'll see but if i have to pull it down that far i'm not going to be very happy so this time we're going to drive whitey a little bit and uh I don't know, reflect. I'm just pretty pissed off, just to be honest. So let's go and uh, take it for a ride.
power and see if we can make some smoke. Nice little third gear burnout. Hope the neighbors don't mind too much. Just had to uh, had to relieve some stress, you know. This thing finger hurts. I got blood all over me from the other car, and uh, this poor thing. This this car, Whitey needed some some loving, so. Boy, there's so much salt on the road. That's one reason I didn't take it far is once I got to drive in, I realized luckily it's not like raining down here or anything, but it uh, it's definitely like nasty. And I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to get too much. Hang on. I didn't want to get a bunch of uh, salt on the car cause it's already done enough damage. So, nice little couple rolling, sort of rolling burnouts, but whatever you want to call them. Oh, fun stuff. What did you think, Say? Did it scare you? What do you think? What do you think? What? <laughs> uh, yep, so, hopefully I didn't disturb too many people. Just wanted to blow the dust off of it, I guess you would say. So... What do you think, Sadie? 
Where'd you go? Yep, fun stuff. I think did a big long, long enough burnout. I can't even take a picture with this thing. Oh, so. So, that's going to end this video. Uh, transmission's out. Uh, I can pull the flex plate at any point, And I'll be ready to put the new flex plate in. Don't know whether or not I have to take the heads off. Um, seeing that little dribble of, uh, of uh, blah, 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 coolant going down it. Wasn't very cool. Not very good. So, not exactly sure what is going on with that. Um, they were all torqued down their MLS head gaskets. I didn't put any copper spray on them, even though it looks like I may should have. But we may need to pull them off anyways. So that's going to wrap up this one. I appreciate it. I'm in a lot better mood now. I love burnouts. So uh, I don't think my, my son was very happy because I, I took off without him, but he's also like half naked and it's cold out here. So... All right, we'll catch you in the next one. Maybe we'll do even bigger, longer burnouts in the next one. Peace.